It's a digital video on the horizon, back 100A. This is digital video 3 of our Getting to Know the Horizon video series. This is LCE Graphics. We've covered the touch panel in the first two videos. Now we're going to move on to the small remote control panel. This is best used for doing small jogging if you just need to jog the system a little bit. Uh, starting, stopping, and uh, increasing or slowing down the system. Uh, it doesn't have all the controls of the main touch panel, but it has enough that if you were at the rear of the machine collecting booklets, you can control it. You can speed it up, slow it down, stop it, start it, depending on what you need to do. Um, it, it won't replace having to refill each one of the bins when they run out, but uh, it could allow you to get control of it before you had to have an emergency stop or something like that. If you see a set going wrong and you're in the rear, you're operating the system by yourself and you need to stop it, you can simply stop it rather than having to hit the emergency and shut everything down. This could just stop the set and whatever you needed to handle, you could handle at that time and then start right back up without having to come back to the front of the machine. It saves a lot of time and a lot of walking. Um, the cord is delicate. It can't be yanked on, jerked on, beat on. You can't go throwing the controller on the floor and hoping it survives. Um, it must be put in a safe place every single time. And as long as it's maintained, it should last the life of the system. Um, we're going to move on to the bins in here. And I'm going to have to use a light so you can see inside of here, unfortunately. But what we have is, I'm going to try to increase the exposure. And I can't get any more. But it's kind of hard to see in here. But as you can see, we have the small dial here, which is the air adjust for the blowers, up or down. That will increase the amount of blowing the uh, blower does. On top of that, you have the paper guide set, and what that'll do is, if you look over here, you can see that it'll set the system up or down, and that's just how high the, the pile will come before it stops. It um, actually goes pretty close to this lower plate here. Uh, that would help out if you have something that's just not really wanting to feed too well. Uh, it's missing a lot. You may have to raise it up with your heavy stock. Um, but then again, with your lower stock, your 20-pound bond, 60-pound offset, you would have to lower it because it would try to feed doubles too often. Uh, just a pile hat adjustment. Um, again, it's going to be something you're going to set based upon your stock. And as you're more familiar with the system, you'll become more adapt to where it needs to be. The final little lever in here, and it is very hard to see, is this little lever right here. see it right there where my finger is. It's very hard to see. But what that'll do is if you see these sheet separators in the back here, it lifts and lowers those based upon how much you need. If you have a set that's constantly doubling, you may need to increase the amount of sheet separator you have versus a seat that's not doubling at all or missing, you may have to decrease. And then again, based upon the stock you're running, the speed, how heavy it is, the amount of coating on it, and uh, of course whether it's a digital or a press job, um, standard or conventional printing has a little less static than digital does, and digital needs to be opened up and fanned out a lot more. As you load that, as you load each of the bins, you need to remember that, and then yes, you're going to have to use more of the air blower, less of the sheet. Uh, vacuum and more of the separator. Uh, the next thing to notice is the arrangement of the stack of paper in here. Very important to get these all the way up against the edges here. All the way to the front there. Make sure it's all nice and clean. The edges are all nice and smooth and that you have your guides in place. The one on the rear is to keep it from blowing out when the blower engages. The one on the side is to keep it in alignment as it comes into the system. Uh, 
The most important thing you can do is loading paper. If it's done right every single time, you will have much fewer problems than if it's just thrown in here, whichever way you feel like throwing it in, and it will just it will give you never-ending nightmare of problems. After you've set the paper properly, then you can come over to the adjustments if you're still having problems. You can set the pile height, you can set the blower, you can set the sheet separator. Between the three of them, you should be able to get almost any stock figured out and taken care of. This will conclude digital video number three and the final video on the tower. If you have any questions, please feel free to call or you can reach us on the web at ocegraphics.com. Thank you.